Hello and welcome to Galata Plus. In this video review, we are going to be taking a look at Rajiv Ravi's Thuramukham, which stars Nivin Pauli and Arjuna Shokan. The film is a strong, unsparing 360 degree view of a worker's struggle. As always, there are going to be spoilers here, so do watch at your own discretion. Now, stylistically speaking, Thuramukham can be seen as a companion piece to Rajiv Ravi's earlier film, Kuttam Shikshayam. The latter was a police drama, an interstate cops and robbers story, and it ditched easy thrills for rock solid procedural detail. It was not a glamorous script about super cops. We got to see step by incremental step what an investigation is really like. In Thuramukham, we get to see what the building of a workers movement is really like. Again, Rajiv with his writer Gopan Chidambaram resists easy and simple glamorization. This is not about the making of one hero who single-handedly made the movement. The film is about solidarity like the line that says all of us will be equal and thus everyone is a hero. You don't get a full grasp of this design, this incremental design, until you see that the rousing speech at the end is given not by the characters played by Nivin Pauli or Arjuna Shokan or even Indrajit Sukumaran, but by someone else, by someone who registered earlier as a minor player. It's like how a tail ender might end up saving a match after the star batsmen have fallen. The story is set against the backdrop of a worker struggle, which centers on the casual and cruel system of labor allocation at the Matanjeri Harbour in Kochi during the 1940s and 1950s. The workers would gather in front of their masters who would throw metal tokens into the air like throwing chunks of meat into the sea filled with sharks and then they'd sit back and watch the feeding frenzy as every worker tried to grab a token. What an inhumane system because if you did not grab a token, you were not allowed to work in the harbour that day. And it all came down to how strong and agile you were while those tokens were being thrown. Various unions were formed subsequently, some pro-workers, some anti-workers. And this chain of events led to a police firing in 1953 that claimed the lives of three workers. That's the spark of the film. With Nivin Pauli and Arjun Ashokan playing brothers on opposite sides of this worker struggle, that is, brothers on the opposite sides of dharma, so to speak, you expect divar like dramatic fireworks, but Rajiv deliberately de-dramatizes every emotional possibility, whether it's the faint contours of a love triangle or a sister suffering from a serious disease. I don't recall a recent film with a more powerful and star-packed cast, a strong and smoldering Nivin Pauli along with Indrajit Sukumaran, Joju George, Sudev Nair, Manikanta Nachari, Darshana Rajendra, and Nimisha Sajayan, and a particularly excellent Arjun Ashokan and Purnima Indrajit. But they are all, in true communist spirit, a part of the collective. A different film would have amped up, say, the grand echo of a father and a son dying the same way. But whether it's the music or the fights, nothing is allowed to become big enough to stand out. It's almost always single instruments like a guitar or a clarinet until the huge action set piece at the end as all the workers unite, all the instruments unite and become a symphony. Like in Kuttavam Shikshayam, no detail is too small to be discarded. Wrestling matches, a bangle that keeps reappearing, a money-lending Jewess, migrants from other troubled lands or a ship filled with Russians and the screenplay churns with blunt force repetition. The tokens are thrown Workers lunge at them, the ones lucky enough to grab a token go in lines to gather coal or whatever else the ships bring in. Then they return to the token throwing room to stand in line for their meager wages. Sometimes one of them gets angry and protests. Sometimes there are processions with extremely specific and carefully worded slogans. For example, who painted the communist flag red with his blood? Other times the slogan is just Inkilab Zindabad and then we go back to square one with the tokens being thrown and the workers lunging at them and again and again and again again. This repeating series of events becomes numbing after a point, especially in a film that lasts almost three hours and I miss the sharp, vivid character strokes from Kuttam Shikshayam or Vada Chennai to take another film that talked about similar issues in a more mainstream flavour. But again, I think this is by design. The unrelenting, that is numbing sameness also reinforces how many times all of this was done before the big bang that closes the film. Rajiv doesn't want us to just watch. He wants to immerse us in this reality. He wants us to experience it. If we grow numb just watching these events, imagine how much the workers would have suffered while endlessly enduring them. But yes, there are snatches of emotional release. Thuramukham is a movie about these workers, these men, but it opens with a woman screaming and 
closes with the same woman screaming for a different reason. The grand echo we did not get with the father and the son, we get with the mother. The men are fighting for survival for their families and the women wait and wait for a new dawn. That's their version of numbing reality. They wait for the alcoholism to stop. They wait for the violence to end. They wait for the money that will keep the home fires burning. At the end of a scene, a mother's eyes go upwards towards the skies, towards heaven. Without a word being uttered, we realize that the gesture is an angry question. When, O oh Allah, will this misery end? The gesture is also a quiet statement that is, in the absence of divine or man-made intervention, these women just have to carry on. In other words, like in Kutavam Shikshayam, Thuramukham gives us a 360 degree view of an ecosystem. In Kamati Padam, Raji Rabi took an issue and wove a story around it. Now, the issues are the story and the various steps and processes in them have become the chapters. Rajiv is weaving tapestries of a particular place, of a particular time. Niven Pali should be congratulated for lending his stardom to movies like Muthon and this one, where he's not treated like a star. Hits will come and go, but these are the films that will last. And that's it for Rajiv Ravi Suramukham. If you like this video, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. Experience 10 days of Grand Europe trip for easy EMI of rupees 25,000 only with GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Wonder Diamond, South India's largest lab-grown diamond brand, stores at Chennai, Coimbatore, Bangalore and Hyderabad.